But if I know comes, you never come and rap into such and such a school. If you ever know what you miss, I tell you to man, the food was great. So Lisa, wherever she is, you have to watch out for her, you know, she'll come and get the food. That's Lisa. But all in all, I'm very happy that Lisa won. And I wish her all the best. And I know that Jamaica will be very happy to have her representing us. Spontaneous, approachable, effervescent. Lisa is all these things and more. She has the ability to identify with her audience, understand their concerns, and discuss them intelligently. I think participating in rapping and in the voice and speech program has been of the greatest value to her. You know, when you go out and rap in, you have got to host the program. And uh, when she goes, she takes charge. And uh, with commendable ease and grace. And that certainly helps to, to make you a quick thinker on your feet. And also helps to refine the mind. And um, if you listen to Lisa, she's extremely articulate. She talks very easily. But best of all, there are the days when the mango and the logwood blossoms when the bushes are full of the sound of bees and the scent of honey, and the tall grass sways and shivers to the slightest breath of air, when the buttercups have paved the earth with yellow stars, and beauty comes suddenly, and the rains have gone. I fell in love with TV, to tell you the truth. I enjoy just being around the cameras, talking to people, becoming more aware of, of who I am. I know you're going to do extremely well. The Lisa I know is charming, warm, uh, very frank, very honest. She'll tell it like it is. But at the same time, she has a tremendous amount of integrity. I think her beauty transcends race. I think she's a role model. There are very few girls anywhere in the world who are as developed in their culture as Lisa is in hers. The very first time I met Lisa, I sort of felt a very spiritual um, link between between us and it's not just coming from the outside it's way on the inside um, and I guess that's what true beauty is really all about she has the qualities that we need for the future woman of Jamaica you know I remember distinctly a girl walking across Queens High School grounds and she was not all together and suddenly she started to put herself together and my daughter looked around and said, uh-uh, she's seen Lisa Hannah. And um, when I looked over and I spoke to Lisa Hannah on a few occasions, I found her that she was a very positive person. As a matter of fact, I went home and I said to the family, this young lady is truly beautiful and truly positive. And I do think that one day she will become the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, Lisa. Every time I think of Lisa, my eyes light up, you know, because uh, she just looked good. <laughs> I remember doing a, a Christmas special with the, the CPTC crew, rapping. That is just last year. And uh, she was one of the co-hosts. Yeah, man, I had a good time, you know, just being around her and listening to some of the things she say and just looking at her. Because apart from looking good, she has a very bright sense of humor, so mm, very funny. <laughs> One of my kind of people. She's 18 years old, stretches 5 feet 7 inches, 125 pounds, with measurements of 36, 24, 36. She attended the Queen's School, and her current occupation is a part-time TV presenter. She hopes to become a communication lawyer and further her career in television presentation. She knows a little Japanese, she speaks French and Arabic. She loves karate. Hey there, Lisa, 
We're so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lisa Hanna, natural beauty, and I'm sure all Jamaicans agree with me. She's just beautiful, very intelligent, very outspoken, and I'm sure she's going to do Jamaica proud. So good luck, Lisa. There's just no sense in tomorrow. Oh, yes. If you're not there to spend it with me, Lisa, <laughs> through all the pain and the sorrow, right here is where I want you to be. Because every time you're there to carry me through, make me feel right, I love me and you. I wish forevermore we'll be here together. Cause every time you're there, I need no other. Oh Lord, thank you. Hey. Inevitably, the question arises, is there a special romantic interest in her life? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, he's not here, no. He's away, we have a long distance relationship, but He's there. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very God-fearing, and um, I love people, and I'm very positive. I place a lot of emphasis on religion and God. I go to church and I pray a lot, and I'm also very positive. You know, I'm very determined to do what I want to do, get what I want to get done, and I love people, and I learn from other people. I learn from people's experiences. I don't think the crown will ever change who I am as an individual and my personality. What I think it will do, however, is give me a little bit more exposure and experience and I will blossom a little bit more. I also feel that the exposure gained from being crown Miss Jamaica will help me tremendously in my career choice. As you know, I want to do mass communications with my techniques choice being television. I have great pleasure in presenting to you, Lisa this instrument appointing you as a, a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations in Jamaica. And congratulations, I know you will be the most exciting participant in the Miss World Contest. Oh, thank so you. So congratulations <laughs> and good wishes. Thank you. From as a little girl, I've always wanted to do something of consequence for my country. I have always wanted to do something that would be beneficial on behalf of young people, and that, is my, that was my sole purpose for entering the Miss Jamaica, among other purposes. Being a Goodwill Ambassador is it's an honor and a privilege, and I'm looking forward to serving on behalf of my country and on behalf of all young people in this country, and I thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would love to experience everything there is to experience in life. I would like to be successful and independent in my career and in my career goals. But I want to live life to its fullest. And I would also, life to me really isn't a brief candle, to tell you the truth. You know, I really want to let it burn bright until I hand it on to the future generation. So that is how I see myself, burning my life, burning really bright. I want to pass on other things, pass on my values, you know, be a role model. From a sweet little baby to a charming young girl in braces, Lisa Hanna has blossomed into a radiantly beautiful young lady with high hopes for the future, eagerly going forward to fulfill her destiny. 